that I go all out on wrapping. I regret going this year. I regret not taking yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's probably like really unhealthy advice. I think that's probably quite good. It's Ellie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my Vlogmas series. So today's Vlogmas video I'm going to be doing wrapping Christmas presents but I'm going to do like a QA, and a like quite chilled out. I saw someone else do this. I can't remember who it was but yeah just like a chatty Q&A going to wrap some Christmas presents. I love 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 wrapping presents so I think this will be really fun. I'm not gonna lie. I want my Santa hat. Where are you Santa hat? <laughs> So I'm going to take downstairs the presents that I need to wrap up so we can wrap them on like the kitchen table because I need like a big flat space. I'm very specific about how I wrap my Christmas presents and I want them to be very very neat and so I need to do like the table needs to be flat and stuff, can't do it on my bed or anything like that, Jeez, no. So I'm going to take downstairs my wrapping paper and all of my stuff like that and then we can wrap some presents and answer some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Thank you for the questions you guys gave me. Hey everyone, welcome to Santa's Grotto, but Ellie's Grotto. I am excited because I love wrapping presents. Let's turn the lights on, it's dark. So guys, I've got lots of presents to wrap here. And that's not even all the presents, I've got loads more presents to wrap, but these are the ones I'm gonna wrap now. As I mentioned, I go all out on wrapping, so let me show you the wrapping supplies I've got. So we've got this first wrapping paper with little trees on it. Then I've got this wrapping paper that's got like holly and ivy on it. And then we've got this wrapping paper, which I've not used yet, which has got little wreaths wreaths on it wreaths and then i've got gift bags so i've got some of these that are smaller that are really christmasy and i think they look like bath and body works bags so i really like them and then i've got these ones that are bigger which i've only got like three left but you can like scratch on it scratch on it like you can write like a note on it but it's like scratchy i don't know how to explain it but it's really cool and then i've got candy canes because each person gets candy cane with the gifts we've got red sparkly ribbon we've got this ribbon <laughs> we've got little like hollies um and we've got a little bit of tissue paper and we've got like red bows and then i've got some of these bows as well so definitely have a nice little selection of stuff but i'm just gonna start wrapping the presents i'm probably gonna just do like a basic wrap okay so the first question is do i regret going to university and overall I would say no, but I would say I regret going this year because a lot of people take a gap year. So you take like a whole year out between like A-levels or whatever you do and then uni. And I was like kind of interested in that, but I never decided to do it because I'd be like the oldest. My birthday's in September, so I'm like the oldest in my year as it is. And if I took a gap year, then like I would be nearly two years older than some people, which I, I mean, I guess it's not really a big deal at uni, but I wouldn't, I don't know. It just put me off the idea. However, a lot of people did take a gap year this year because of COVID, like ruining people's uni experience. And I kind of wish I did that. It's been really, really hard to make friends at uni because I feel like normally I would make a lot of friends through like going out and like meeting like random people that you become friends with and like people on my course. But because of COVID, it's been like so much online and really hard to make friends and like I would say I regret going this year. I regret not taking a gap year, probably, because I feel like I've missed out on my first year of uni so far, which is kind of a bummer. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. Is this too much paper? Anyway, yeah. Um, if you know me, by the way, don't watch this video. Just because you might see your Christmas presents, like you might, and I don't want you to, so just don't watch, thanks. <laughs> anyway, ciao. The next question I saw was, what do you look for in a guy, as in like, what would I look for in a boyfriend? Honesty, defo honesty, like openness, and also like fun, funness, because why would you want to be with someone that's not fun? Someone who isn't too serious. Like if you can't let go and just be yourself and have fun, then what's the point? And I feel like I'm very silly and sometimes hyper and probably quite annoying. So I need someone that could match that energy. Also just like the basic things, caring, cute, gotta be a good looking guy, you know? Um, I think it's all in the eyes. <laughs> I fancy blue eyes so much. Okay, now this is not an easy shape to wrap. 
best piece of advice for someone who doesn't feel motivated? I feel like I'm either super motivated or not motivated. Like I don't really have an in-between. I would recommend definitely, definitely writing a to-do list every single day or at least like a weekly one if you don't want to do a daily one because that will help you be so much more motivated if you like really want to get done with stuff that's on your to-do list you know and coffee <laughs> caffeine probably and that's probably like really unhealthy advice but i drink so much coffee it's insane i mean i guess getting enough sleep as well if you have like a healthy schedule of like waking up at a good time and also work out if you're a morning or night person. Next question, how tall are you? And um, I am five foot two, only just though. I think technically I'm like five foot one and a half or something, maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna give myself the benefit of the doubt today and say I'm definitely five foot two. That may be incorrect. Ta-da, one present wrapped. Although I feel like it needs a bow or something. It's very plain Jane. Let's stick something on there. I know, some of this on top in like a little bow. I mean, it's not bad. I think that's probably quite good. So I'm on my next present and the next question, which a few people ask is, will I be making more merch? And when will I be making more merch? Basically merch questions. Well, I'm glad you're asking because hopefully that means that you've enjoyed my first lot of merch. And I will be making more merch. I don't know when or anything like that. I don't really know any more details because it's probably not gonna be for at least a couple months because my last merch has only just come out and that was my first ever merch but i do think yes that i already know like merch i want to make so i definitely want to do that i just don't know when guys i'm making such good edges on this box like what the heck but yes new merch i just don't know when but for now if you've not already then shop my merch at elliemuseshop.com you can get this hoodie and others as well <laughs> others <laughs> the next question was have you got a job other than youtube and the answer right now is no i do not because i'm a student as well i mean i think youtube's kind of a full-time job anyway especially doing things like vlogmas and trying to post on all social medias consistently is definitely a full-time job but I'm also a student so I won't be able to get a full-time job or any part-time job because being a student is a lot of work as well and like as being a student is basically like a full-time job and then being a YouTuber is basically like a full-time job so I basically have two full-time jobs not to brag but I could not get another job right now my head would explode another question was what do you want to do if YouTube doesn't work out or like what do you want to do as when you're older maybe and honestly i'm not 100 percent sure because there's so many jobs that i love the idea of but nothing that i'm like yeah i want to do that if you get what i mean i've always thought being a teacher would be so fun i would love to teach like primary like teach little kiddies i think that's so fun so maybe that maybe being a teacher but i'm not really sure because i don't i don't know i honestly don't know at all i mean i'd love to do acting because i love acting i'd love to be on tv i'm not gonna lie but the idea of presenting or like something like that is so cool to me i love doing like acting for children so i guess anything kind of related to that would be my dream job but other than that yeah i don't really know there was a question that just said how are you and i love that because it's important to ask how people are I'm doing all right. I feel a lot less stressed now I'm home from uni because uni is very stressful. I feel like I've mentioned that so many times, but it really is. But I do feel a lot less stressed now I'm home, so that's good. But I mean, yeah, overall, I think I'm pretty good. I'm a little bit bummed out about how Christmas is looking this year because of Corona and everything. I'm kind of happy that it's going to be the end of 2020 because hopefully 2021 is going to be better than 2020. Do you ever, when you're wrapping a present, you like want to hold something there and you just have to like use your foot because your hands are busy. Look at those corners. They're so good. This one needs a gift tag on it because this one is actually to like multiple people so I need to assess that. I'm gonna answer like two more questions I think and then you just carry on wrapping so otherwise I'm gonna be here for like six weeks. Next question is why do you still have lectures and work to do when you're in your break from uni for Christmas? Okay so 
basically I had to do work in like my a lot of work in like my first week back because technically my term wasn't over we just had to move home before the end of term because it was like to do with like the travel home period for covid and stuff like that um, which is a little bit confusing but basically that's why but I still have to do work for a while and that is because revision and uni is all about like doing your own independent work independent research and reading and stuff like that and so because of that then i've got to do it over christmas as well i mean i could not but then i would be behind and completely lost when i go back and that would just be awful <laughs> And the last question I'm gonna answer is, would you ever join the Hype House or a collab house like that? And the answer is, I don't really know. I wouldn't rule it out. I definitely wouldn't rule it out because I think that's a, probably a nice environment to be in, like surrounded by people with the same goals as you and like wanna do the same things as you. And I think that's really cool. But there is also things that I think just wouldn't be fun about that. Like first off, there's always so much drama with houses like why are they always having drama you know i like to stay away from drama especially online drama because it stresses me out and i don't like it there's enough drama in real life never mind online so i don't really know if i would join a house like that or not i'm not like trying to if that makes sense like, i'm not like oh my god i just want to join the hype house or like oh my god i just want to join like whatever the uk versions and i just feel like i would feel very intimidated I, i'm not super shy but i would definitely feel like uncomfortable and like embarrassed all the time like i probably wouldn't want to leave my room without wearing makeup and that is Toxic. And I'm not saying that's because the people in the houses aren't nice, they definitely are, but I would just, I don't know, I'm easily intimidated, I feel like, so yeah, wouldn't love that. This is a fancy wrapping technique that I'm doing here, this is going to be a fancily wrapped frizzante. But yeah guys, that is all of the questions I'm going to answer in this Vlogmasy video. Um, there is another thing I want to do is, I really want to wrap up a present as a thing that it's not. You know like, have you seen it on TikTok? Probably a lot of people have my for you page is filled with people wrapping up like a t-shirt and making it look like a chair or a lampshade or something so i really want to do that maybe i don't know maybe not in this video maybe i just make it a tiktok maybe that's a reason to plug my tiktok guys go follow my tiktok because i'm gonna wrap up the contents of this box and make it look like something that it's not so so guys thank you for watching this video it was kind of like i just needed to do this because i really needed to wrap presents and i didn't want to just do a boring old q a because i feel like i've done a few of those i wanted to make it like a little bit more exciting somehow so that's why we've got a wrapping presents q a girls i made a mistake that's gonna be on show now but hey ho now okay guys so that was my wrapping up presents and q a i hope you enjoyed i hope you like my wrapping skills number one number two and number three my personal favorite <laughs> unfolds and also beautiful anyway i hope you enjoyed and subscribe if you're not already with the big red subscribe button give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it feel free to follow me on all of my social medias to stay up to date with what i am doing and oh, shop my merch alouiseshop.com link in description and i guess the only thing left to say is i love you a lot and i'll see you in my next video bye guys